The shocking face of an ancient ancestor that lived 28,000 years ago, has been revealed by scientists. Dubbed Cro-Magnon Man, his face is covered in lumps including a large one on his forehead. Researchers believe there were likely benign tumors, caused by a genetic disease known as neurofibromatosis. The skeleton of Cro-Magnon I, a male Homo sapiens dating back 28,000 years, was discovered in 1868 in the Easy's Cave in France's southwestern Dordogne region. To mark 150 years since the discovery of the bones, a team of researchers including anthropologist Philippe Charlier re-examined the remains. At the end of their investigation, we proposed a new diagnosis, he had suffered from a type of neurofibromatosis, Charlier told AFP. Neurofibromatosis is a genetic disease, which can cause benign tumors to develop in the nervous system, and also spots or areas of pigmentation on the skin. The team's findings will be published in the medical journal The Lancet. Cro-Magnon man's skull has a lesion on the forehead, which corresponds to the presence of a neurofibroma, which has eroded the bone, Charlier said. His left ear canal was also damaged, presumably also by a tumor that had grown, he added. Equipped with this diagnosis, we have made a realistic reconstruction of the face of this middle-aged man, taking into account his pathology. The visual forensic reconstruction shows a face covered in tumors, including a large one on the forehead and scores more little nodules across his face, in particular clustered around the mouth, nose and eyes. He has them everywhere, Charlier said. Cro-Magnon 1 was found alongside three other individuals in a cave at Cro-Magnon in the Dordogne region of France in 1869. The Cro-Magnon skeletons were among the first fossils to be recognized as belonging to our own species, Homo sapiens. Cro-Magnons had powerful, muscular bodies, and are believed to have been about 166 to 171 centimeters tall. Their foreheads were straight, with slight brow ridges, and their faces were short and wide. They were also the first humans to have a prominent chin. According to their skulls, their brain capacity was about 1,600 cc's, slightly larger than the average for modern humans. A study of the skeleton suggests they lived a tough life. In addition to Cro-Magnon one's pitted skeleton, several of the individuals found had fused vertebrae in their necks indicating traumatic injury. The adult female found at the shelter had survived for some time with a skull fracture, 